The Witness News exclusive major developments in the Michael Jackson AEG wrongful death lawsuit involving his use of drugs. Newly revealed testimony appears to contradict the recent testimony of Michael Jackson's mother, who claimed to have no knowledge of Michael's past addiction going back years. Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez has the exclusive story. His main concern was his kids, his, always his kids. Jurors hear the most explicit details yet of Michael Jackson's treatment for addiction. It was 2002, seven years before Jackson's death from the anesthetic propofol. Dr. Alamarad Farshian said Jackson wanted off the painkiller Demerol. Blanket was just, was just born, mm -hmm. and that was why he wanted to, uh, what he phrased, monkey on his back, he wanted to just not deal with it anymore. In Farshan's video deposition, he states Jackson family was pressuring the artist. The doctor's statement conflicts with the testimony of Catherine Jackson, who said under oath that she had no personal knowledge that her son struggled with dependency. The doctor said he talked to her directly about his detox treatment. I think she wanted to know about it, what's going on. Farshan described implanting Jackson with a type of Demerol antidote. Now Trexone, also known as Narcane, a tiny tube inserted under the skin to block the euphoric effect of opiates. The doctor said he implanted Jackson five times over nine months and that he personally witnessed Mrs. Jackson examining her son's incision. I remember that was in Neverland. Michael did show the implant to his mother. Just his mother was there. She was very happy. Catherine Jackson is suing AEG Live, alleging the tour promoters hired and failed to supervise Conrad Murray, the physician linked to the singer's propofol overdose. Her attorneys assert that Jackson's health was deteriorating from anxiety and sleep deprivation in the two months before his death. Jurors heard from Farshan that Jackson suffered from insomnia years earlier. The doctor's theory that it was linked to cosmetic surgery, a key part of Jackson's nose, missing. It's possible that you produce what they call... Uh, empty nose syndrome and producing insomnia. About the plaintiff's claim that Jackson was emaciated, the autopsy recorded he was 136 pounds when he died. Farshan testified that Jackson weighed less, 128 pounds when he treated him. Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News.